Let's continue our code analysis with the SELECT statement. As you can see, we have used SELECT operations for getting the book type from the bookmaster data and the discount percentage from the newly created DSO. This solution works well because it collects the necessary information for our calculations. However, this solution is not optimal and might cause performance bottlenecks for large amount of data. This simple solution is great in cases when the number of records doesn't exceed several thousands of records, but for larger datasets you will face with slow performance and the code will consume big server resources during the data load. Of course, we want to avoid performance and resource problems. Before resolving this issue, first we need to know the source of this problem. The answer is behind the execution logic of the transformation. All of our customizing, what we do in the maintenance screen of the transformation, results in a standard generated ABAP program. This program has a pattern of execution that is true for all of the BW transformations. Since we wrote our logic as a field calculation rule, let's analyze first the role of the field rules. The responsibility of a field rule is to calculate a single target field for a single record. The result parameter that we will fill during our ABAP refers to a single value in a single record. Since there are many records, the field rules are executed row by row by the framework program. The field rules are placed in an iteration. So for example, if we have 50,000 records in the source, the field rules are executed 50,000 times for each record. Any logic we write in such a rule will be executed 50,000 times in this example. Let's turn back to our logic. We used two select statements in this rule. Select statements always read from the database and always consume disk operations on the server. So in our example, for a dataset with 50,000 records, our code will hit the database 100,000 times that will result in a super slow execution. Now we know the source of our performance problem, but how can we overcome this problem? What is the best practice to boost the performance of our code? The recommended practice is to avoid the database operations in field rules for large datasets and to replace the database operations with in-memory operations. In-memory operations are very fast compared to the database because they don't consume any disk, just read the memory. If we need to read from a database table many times, first we can copy its content into an in-memory table and we can use this in-memory table as a replacement of the database. We can read the data from it as we do with select statements without hitting the database on the disk. In ABAP, we call in-memory tables as internal tables. Internal tables are very useful for buffering the data into the memory and boost the performance of a code with many data operations. Let me compare the usage of the internal tables with the database tables. As I mentioned, the benefit of the internal tables over the database tables is that reading, modifying data is very fast compared to the database, since these operations happen only in the memory. The problem with storing the data in the memory is that the size of the memory is limited compared to the database tables. As a good practice, don't copy too much data into the memory, only the necessary data you need, because 
you might fill up the available memory area of your ABAP code and it will generate a short dump. That's why we use the database, because the size of the database can grow unlimited compared to the memory. And of course, the database is a persistent storage and the lifetime of the data is long. The content of the internal tables will be deleted by the framework after the execution or logic. So the lifetime of this internal table is very short, it lives with the execution of the code. So, in general, I like to use internal tables because the performance gain is huge if I use them in the field rules of the transformations. Of course, this requires some more preparation in ABAP code. How to use, declare and implement internal tables? How to replace the select statements with in-memory reads? That's what I would like to show you in the system.